Hey guys, Madam Wario here, and welcome back to Mario Party. Today I'll be taking you to Minigame Island, and I just wanted to point out that I'm going to be playing on a um, an old folder. I'm not going to start a new game, just because um, if there are some mini games I just happen to lose, I don't want to have to play it until I beat it. I just want to go through all the mini games once with tips and tricks and hints and all that good stuff. So, um, if, you're, if you've noticed this, if you've played Minigame Island before, once you beat Minigame Island, the music will just change to the Last World's music. Um, the real music combination I will be playing in the Options House in my extra video, so you won't miss out on that. So, that's just some music info right off the bat. Um, for those of you who watch my, or read my blog, I should say, um, this is where my minigame, well, project will come into play. If there's a certain minigame you want to see, just go to my YouTube channel, type the title of it in the search engine, and it should pop up, or the video it's in should pop up. So, um, I just wanted to get those few things out of the way. I will be pointing out what minigames are in Mario Party 2 as well. The ways I play the games and any tips and tricks I might have for you guys. So, um... Let's get started with Coin Block Blitz. An easy mini game, a boring mini game. It's not that exciting. Four player mini game. Um yeah, basically you just bash your head on a bunch of blocks and make the coins come out. You know, good old Super Mario Brothers theory. Computer players like to go after your coin box, so keep that in mind. They will be annoying. Um, which they're not being annoying to me, but they are being annoying to each other. Wow, I'm just getting a ton of coins from this. To clear this on Minigame Island, you have to get at least 10 coins, which we clearly have already done, Finish. so... Here it comes. Clear. Yep, clear. And if you lose a minigame, you will lose a life. Those are my lives up in the left corner. And every time you get 100 coins, you gain a life, just like in any other Mario game. Okay, next is a 1 vs. 3 minigame, Coin Block Bash. Okay, so in ev well, in minigame island at least, every time you play a 1 vs. 3 minigame, you're automatically the one player. So keep that in mind as you're playing minigame island. It's kind of weird too because some of the games are actually easier as the one player rather than the three player. Um, so you have like a pretty good chances with some mini games in particular. And also that's not the case in minigame coaster in Mario Party 2. That doesn't happen. So if you do have the hammer, be sure to just knock all your opponents out so you don't have to deal with them. If you don't have the hammer, you can cheat and go after everyone else's coins after they've broken their boxes or their blocks. You know, whichever way you want to play it, so... Okay, next minigame is Coin Shower Flower, another 1 versus 3 that we didn't see very much. Um... Oh yeah, I should probably point out, we haven't seen this screen at all until, you know, Minigame Island, because we never used it, so... Here's this cute little music, but we're gonna move on. Um... This is probably the best 1 vs. 3 minigame to get if you are the one player, because you will get a ton of coins from it, guaranteed. Um, if you are one of the three players, you probably won't get that many coins from it. But, yeah, you could probably only hope for like four coins total. It's just that's the way it works. But if you are the one player, um, don't get too close to the edge, you will fall off. And if you do fall off, you don't lose any coins, you just, you know, you don't have a chance to get any more, obviously. So you want to get as many as you can. I don't advise jumping unless, you know, you need to switch weight really fast like I just did, but don't just jump around for the heck of it, because you'll probably jump off. Um, so it's pretty easy, especially if you're a one player. Okay. Battle Battle, the first Rotate the Control Stick minigame in Minigame Island. So, yeah, this has a very difficult 
maneuver, I guess you could say, or painful is a better word. Um, where I rotate my control stick is in between the webbing of my thumb and my index finger, and that doesn't hurt at all, really, so just do that. Uh, you can rotate with the palm of your hand. I wouldn't advise doing it because that'll be very painful. You can rotate with your fingers, but you probably won't go as fast as you would if you were just using, like, the part of your hand I've suggested, so... Yes, I know. These, um, infamous minigames can get very annoying. But as you can see, I'm not gonna lose any coins. I'm gonna poke my opponents and get all their coins instead. Okay. So, um, the rotate the control stick maneuver is only in Mario Party 1. It doesn't go to any of the other Mario Party games. It never moved on. It had too many complaints. So, yeah. And this is a save space. You can save and go back to Mushroom Village if you want, but we're not going to. We're going to play World 2, so... Um, let's start with Memory Match. This is a one-player minigame that I think I missed one match last time I played it, so whoops. But if you get Bowser, you'll be knocked out for a second, so if you do find that space, just remember where it is. It's not really that hard. Um, okay, I'm not getting any matches so far. Oh, there we go. This game's pretty easy, though. Whoops, Bowser's face. Your memory has to be really bad for you to lose this. Oh, wait. Whoops. Unless you get them mixed up like I just did. Okay. Now we're officially good to go. Um, if you do not uncover all of the matches, you will still get whatever coins you've earned. You won't lose any coins. Unless you don't get any matches at all, so... Also note that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, one-player minigames are only in Mario Party 1, um, as far as coins go, gaining coins from them. Um, Mario Party 2, you get items if you win the minigame. So keep that in mind. We're gonna play Ground Pound. Just memorize where the flat stumps are. There are always five. Um, and Ground Pound those. It's really easy. It's not hard at all. Unless you're a computer player and you suck at this. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what is with my sinuses, but my throat is just ridiculous right now. Okay. Limbo Dance. Probably the most difficult one-player minigame. Um, if you jump too far, I'm going to show you right now, you will fall and lose, so don't do that. Um, the way I play this minigame is, it's kind of risky like that. I jump as far as I can until I am slipping, pretty much. Like I just did. Then I kind of ease up when I slip. But these red poles, like this, um, when, especially when there's a row of them, it's very easy to hit them because they are very low. Clear. So keep that in mind. Alrighty. Musical Mushroom. Another four player minigame. My best advice for this keep your control stick aimed towards the treasure chest in the center at all times. Um, that way, when the music stops, you're not frantically trying to shift your control stick. Come on. Let's go. Whoa. And that's the gist of that. It's pretty easy. Uh, sometimes the computer players are faster than other times. My computer players are set to hard right now, as they always are, and... But they kind of sucked that time. I don't know what that was about. But we're gonna play Piranha's Pursuit. Um... This is much easier if you are the one player, 
If you're one of the three players, you will probably lose this minigame unless the one player opponent goofs up, so... Okay. And if you are the one player, don't jump too soon, don't jump too late. You will trip, and it will slow you down. Um, if you jump on a rock, or over a rock too soon, you will land on the rock and trip over it, and um, that'll just slow you down. Uh, watch for the falling logs. If you get hit by one of those, you're pretty much done for. What in the world? I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, if you jump through those little rope things, they'll kind of swing you. Somewhere, so... That was kind of crazy. I didn't know that could happen. So much for knowing about this game. I'm just kidding. When you think it's been a very long time, it ends, so... Note that.